controversy is erupting, my friends on X. Elon Musk's platform has announced that they are updating the block function so that if you block someone, they can still see everything you do, but they just can't interact. This, in my opinion, is a very, very bad move. And so today, my friends, I will take this opportunity to explain to you basic security, why friction in security is extremely important, why this is a very, very bad idea, and why I think it's happening. Now, what's basically going on is on X right now, if I block someone, they cannot see my posts. They can, however, create an alt account, another account, log in, follow me, and then see my posts. Many people have said if your posts are public, they can go out. They don't even have to be signed in to see them. This is not true. Even if your account is public, it is often very difficult to see someone's post when they are not signed in. Now, I will address the controversy and I will explain to you in great detail basic security and why a lot of people are wrong. And I'm going to come out right away and say it. We got a whole lot of opinions from people who don't have to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars every year on security telling me. So here's where I'm at. I will very, very likely, I'm strongly considering deleting every tweet I've ever made. Uh, I do this periodically. It's not abnormal. Uh, it is very common, actually, for high profile accounts periodically to do a wipe of all the all of the posts they made simply because things are taken out of context. Uh, there's there's cultural context. There's contemporary context. So if there's a news story from 2020 and I say something like, LOL, the election was stolen, but I'm talking about it's like a local election in the middle of nowhere. And that, that was like clearly there are stories where like a judge will overturn an election. What what people will do is they'll take that and then put it on something to removing the context to make it seem like I was talking about Trump or otherwise. I do not believe uh, the election was stolen per se. Depends on how you define it, but I'm not going to get into that argument. So I'm strongly considering now using one of these automated programs to delete every single tweet. And likely what I will do is hand over my X account to staff and we will just begin posting YouTube clips so you can watch me on YouTube. And uh, I, I, I will explain this in great detail. I want to get to the news first. But this would effectively be the end of my trolling and nonsense because I, I let me I, I will explain. I'll explain. But the most important thing to understand is if you do not have to consult multiple uh, legal teams and spend hundreds of thousands of dollars a year on private security and have been swatted 13 times. I am sorry, but I do not respect your opinion on the matter. I just don't. I can respect you and I can appreciate your support. You watch the show, but you do not. With it, in all honesty, these people who are like, oh, it's pointless. It's no big deal. You haven't had these sit down meetings where you've got to spend $50,000 to overcome an issue of someone trying to break in your house all the time. OK, and I can't get into every little security detail that we have to, that a problem that we deal with, because that would expose some of the, the areas we're trying to secure. But I can assure you, this is a major mistake and I don't want to be involved. Now, I will also add is a whole lot of cope, angry people who are like, no, Tim, you have to keep tweeting. Your tweets are funny. I don't owe you any tweets. I like using Twitter. I like getting into it with high profile individuals. And I'm going to break this down for you. But first, let me show you the news because I'm going to start rambling. AV Club says every time it seems like Elon Musk can't possibly make another worse decision, he pops in with his dumb little jump to remind us that actually, yeah, he can. His latest folly is purely X interface related, which is a slight relief among the onslaught of brain melting election content and creepy robots no one asked for. Now, I will stress Elon Musk has done a great job with X. This is just one thing I think he deserves criticism on, but I don't know if it's actually him who's implemented this change. It may be the team. They say last month, Musk confirmed that changes were coming to X's block feature. A previous, previously simple and obvious function on any social media website meant to protect users and prevent harassment. Now, those benefits are largely being thrown out the window because the man in charge can't stand the thought of people talking about him behind his back. Starting soon, accounts you've blocked will still be able to see all of your posts if your account is set to public but won't be able to interact with them in any way. High time this happened, Musk wrote in his original post. To further clarify the policy today, X's official engineering account added, Today, block can be used by users to share and hide harmful or private information about those they've blocked. Users will be able to see if such behavior occurs with this update, allowing for greater transparency. I do not take this seriously. I will tell you what I think. I believe that by removing this function, they're hoping to increase visibility on posts, which may in turn have a positive impact on ads. Not necessarily. We don't know if ads will be served uh, against content. But the idea is people who are blocked are blocked because they, enge they engage heavily. 
Understand this. I block people because some of them are psychotic and I want to remove my image from their feed. It doesn't guarantee they stop searching for me, but it is a fact that friction helps alleviate the problem. X, in my opinion, is likely thinking these users engage massively. They look at tweets. If they get blocked, that means the accounts they follow and they want to follow are not going to be seen in their timeline. They will engage less. We will lose ad revenue because ads will appear in that content. To put it simply, my stalkers will not stop looking at everything I post and, and, and going nuts on them. Now, there's a couple layers of security that I have to deal with, and I can explain only a bit. But trust me when I say everyone saying, but they can just use alt accounts. You are wrong. And I will stress again, for the love of all that is holy, the last thing I want to do is have to sit down in another security meeting and talk with lawyers about how we have to deal with the, the latest death threat or swatting attempt on my life, my friends, my family, my coworkers, my employees. I don't want to deal with any of that stuff. And so we have multiple layers. I will stress to you all now as well. I have been advised by legal and by security when to and when not to block on X and why it's functional, why it must be done. But let me read because this one gets me riled up. They say soon we'll be launching a change how the block function works. If your post is set to public accounts you have blocked will be able to view them, but they will not be able to engage. Today, block can be used by users to share and hide harmful or private information about those they've blocked. Users will be able to see such behavior occurs in this update, allowing for greater transparency. Lies. 100% I don't buy it for two seconds. I'm going to shout out the Krasensteins. Hey, I got disagreements. I don't think they're good people. But it is a fact that people have posted their private information. And the response from X is, if it's available on the internet, anyone's allowed to share it. I don't care if I can see you doxing me or not. If X doesn't get rid of it anyway. Now, I have had help from X on some occasions, and they've ignored me on others. I have had people threaten to kill me on X, and I've seen no response. And I've been gotten messages where they say things like this in no way violates the rules because they didn't pose the threat in any direct way. When people pull off a over the line, oh, won't someone rid, rid me of this priest? I have to be careful because I don't want people going around and digging things up. And this is another part of security. One of the biggest components in security is simply out of sight, out of mind. So the purpose of blocking. Now, I will first show you some opinions. Zuby says this is clearly an unpopular idea and the insistence on doing it anyway would be bad for X. And he no response. Many extremists use mass blocking to prevent people from reporting their violent threats or writing community notes on their lies. This development increases transparency and makes the platform a place where illegal and criminal content can be better exposed. Not playing that game. All right. So I have a series of posts on this and I'll show you some of the responses. I said making blocked people able to see your post will massively increase harassment. Blocking can be bypassed with burners, but it's still an extra barrier. Removing it will make things substantially worse and I'll probably reassess how I use X. 13 swattings was enough. But I agree. If you're public, you're public. So I will likely turn down X use for that reason. People don't understand the sight and mind of visibility. Blocking people reduces the likelihood they see your posts and thus they think less about you. I'm not interested in popping back up on my stalkers feeds so they can start this up again. Fact number one, I have many insane psychopathic stalkers. Fact number two, they believe things that are not real and not reality. There is I, I can't even get into some of this because my lawyers and my security teams would lose their minds, but I'll give it, I'll keep it as vague as possible. There are people claiming that I've entered into business agreements with them that I've never seen in my life. And they're making, it's, it's almost like secret window where shooter shows up to Johnny Depp's house being like, you stole my story. And I'm like, guy, I don't know you. I'm on the internet complaining. And they say, what you got to do first, you ignore them. And I'm only going to go, go over this lightly because I'm not going to talk about full security protocol. Ignore them and hope they stop. If you interact, it could fan the flames. If you block them, it could fan the flames, depending on the kind of account they're using. What we find, however, is that verified accounts that are psychotic and they exist and they stalk you, you absolutely can block them. And then one day they don't even realize it. They're scrolling their feed and they don't see a post from you and they don't think about you. The next day, once again, no post from you and they don't think about you. Eventually, it slips their mind. Fact, 100% fact. Now, there are some insane stalkers who will make multiple accounts and they will start trying to follow you in other ways. I tell you this 100%. 
the violent psychopathic stalkers who have threatened my life, many of them stopped after I blocked them. Not an exaggeration and not a joke. Why? Most people do not use burner accounts and don't make alt accounts. These are people who have small accounts and they would stalk or harass and they disappear. You sh- they shift their focus onto something else they are seeing. If people don't aren't reminded that it exists, they forget about it. That's a fact out of sight, out of mind. Now, many people, ever, I, I said it's not a guarantee, but it is a reduction. Some people are psychotically obsessed and blocking them did stop specific ha- harassment. Adrian Curry says, I have some serious stalkers. They have gone after me, my job, my family, and more. They are why I don't do appearances. It's so bad. It's a dangerous world out there. And those who don't suffer hate groups dedicated to just them won't get it. I tell all my loved ones that if I ever get murdered, it's likely from a Reddit hate group dedicated to me and stalking anything I say or do all day, every day. Fact, 100%. Now, many people have said, Tim, you're on YouTube. You get millions upon millions. You have billions of views. Agreed. YouTube is not a direct feed that you scroll through every single day. Some people do go to YouTube.com and YouTube will recommend them content. If they watch my videos every day, there is still no guarantee that YouTube recommends my content. In fact, it's been a problem. People point out on Timcast IRL, they watch every night no matter what, and YouTube doesn't recommend the video to them. They go to their homepage. It's not there. For some people, that may be enough friction. But you know what? The other issue is that YouTube is not a direct exchange where I post snippets throughout the day in real time, where I give my thoughts and opinions in real time that people can directly engage with and interact with. Twitter is a place where people know that at any moment they can refresh my page over and over and over again. And as soon as I post something, jump right in and post something insane, like my address, my phone number, and they have done it. And I blocked them and it stopped. Because that's the reality. Some people I don't block. I say they're a problematic person, but they're just saying nasty things. I'm going to ignore it. It gets to the point for some people where it doesn't stop and it's unhealthy. And I say, I'm going to block them for their own good. And then some people intentionally post my address on my or things like that. One person had a long winded thread. Going to get in trouble for bringing this up where they claimed that we had fully automatic 50 BMG turrets, butterfly trigger mounted on our free Domestan property. And it was insane the amount of engagement they were getting. Now, I can't stop these people from making burners, sure enough, but guess what? They stopped when they got blocked because security protocol was friction. And the assumption is, while it doesn't work on everybody, some people stopped seeing posts from me and forgot about me. They're not on YouTube. Now, again, it's not perfect, but taking this away is a bad idea. Let me show you what some of the people said. One person said this is COVID lockdown logic. Let's step away from what's normal and give up rights for a little bit of more safety. No, we are not supposed to cater to the abnormal element. What rights are you talking about? I'm saying I've got a, I've, I've got a, there's a big building. Everybody's allowed in a section of it. I do a show on. That's my Twitter profile, my ex profile. I say to security, hey, don't let that guy in. I don't want to see I don't want him to see the show. And it's like, well, he could put a mask on. He could, but let's make it so that he can't come and show his face. Most of the harassment is used to generate attention and views. This means stalkers, harassers, and psychopaths want to follow you and use their main account to build up a base on it so they can rally people and create this psychotic group that just does nothing but insult and attack you every day, leading to a, oh, oh, won't someone rid me of this priest. By taking away their ability to see your content and engage with it, they are unable to then build up a base around attacking, harassing, and stalking you, which they do. Now, the update will still allow them to, to see will allow them to see your content, but not engage with it. They will then just start seeing your posts again, start screen grabbing it and do the exact same thing. We need the friction. One person says, then don't use X. Maybe it's simply not a good place for super big accounts that get a lot of attention. And that's a good thing. Agreed. hundred percent. If this is the direction that Elon wants to take the platform, I calmly stated exactly this. I will reassess how I use the platform. I don't know anybody, my ex posts. I know that I can be trolly and a little bit out there, but with the little bit of control I do have, I mostly say, okay, I'll I'll do my thing. If this is the direction it's going to go, I'm going to give it a little bit of time because he said they're soon going to roll it out. I will likely purge all of my tweets. I, and again, this is not abnormal. Every couple of years I do this. Many people do this. You use a service that just goes through every tweet you've ever posted and just gets rid of them. Because the because people pull things out of context, manipulate, lie. Some some uh, news stories disappear, and then also the context is missing. 
So it's just a good thing to to do. And I likely will then hand off the account to staff where it will just post when a YouTube video goes live. It'll post IRL. It'll post maybe just clips from the show or something, but uh, or maybe not. And that's because in order for me to reduce visibility, I have to manually do it now. I can't take control of this. We know who's stalking us. We know why they're doing it. We know when they're doing it because we have to pay a lot of lot of money, a lot of money, hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't think people understand this. I don't want to have to deal with this, but this is reality. One of the biggest expenses any high profile person is going to have is their security. And it makes things brutal. I'm not I'm not interested. Okay, even if it is. Just one degree. This means unlocking. This is this is I don't know how many stalkers this is going to be. A lot of them. Unlocking their accounts means overnight I'm going to get punched in the face by a wave of reignition of stalkers I don't want to deal with. So likely before they implement this change, I've got to delete every tweet because they will instantly use their accounts and go through everything. It is not true. A lot of people. Let me let me see. One person says it's a fair argument when swatted a lot of times. Indeed, I have. Uh, let's see. A lot of people saying they agree. It doesn't hate it. One person says, as a stalker, I agree out of sight, out of mind. Uh, if you've peeved off someone enough for them to swat you, they have a burner, Tim. Wrong! Man, I just, I, this one really grinds my gears. It is fascinating to me that there are so many people who don't have to sit down with lawyers and spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on security to just Say something fake that they just think is true and it's not true. So what's frustrating to me here is calmly and easily, I can say, I don't want to post on an active engagement forum with real time communication throughout the day because it will increase the visibility for people who sit on Twitter and just keep hitting refresh. I understand that I have a podcast and YouTube videos, but reducing this degree of connectivity is likely what I will have to do. Fine. But it is so dang frustrating to me that there are people who have no idea what they're talking about, who don't have to deal with this, who don't have to ask questions about why someone tried to murder a family member saying they've got burners, Tim. No, no, no. I've been through this over and over again. Tell me when you wake up to a pedophile trying to break into your house. Tell me when your family members say someone's screaming outside their house and ripping down things in their properties. Tell me when they post your your private address, they doxed you. Tell me when they post your phone number and then you get a thousand phone calls. Tell me then when you've consulted a security company and they've gone through security protocol that this doesn't matter. Tell me that. Tell me then. Tell me when you've dealt with it because you haven't. Okay, so. With all due respect to everybody who wants to follow and who are upset that I'm saying I don't want to be active on a platform. Let me tell you this, guys. On Instagram, when you block someone, you disappear. On X, when you block someone, they can still look up your profile and it says you have been blocked. They'll post a screenshot of it and they tend to disappear. That is a fact. On Instagram, if you're blocked, your account doesn't exist. If you try to log in and search for it, it's not there. If you go to a browser logged in and type in their profile, say this page doesn't exist. They remove you entirely. Now, you can't do it on YouTube, but there's a reality to what YouTube is. There's no guarantee the feeds get sent to anybody. I wish it was perfect, but it's not. I'm not going to rant on this too much longer. I didn't expect to go 20 minutes on this subject, but this is the reality. And I think it's a I think it's a mistake, but it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Elon can do whatever he wants on his platform. I make good money on X, but it doesn't really move the needle for the company as a whole. I know that that's, people may not want to hear that because I've posted how much money I make before. But we, we're operating a, a, a decently sized company that generates a lot of revenues, has a lot of expenses. And I, I don't care to be on this platform actively engaging if it means, let me put it this way. I do one or two posts on Instagram a day. It's mostly automated. Staff will post a short video. Maybe I'll post a skate clip. I can block everybody. I'm gone. On YouTube, I post six times per day. On X, I'm posting dozens of times per day. X is a platform where you post a lot, like a shotgun blast. Each of those is a lottery ticket's chance a stalker or psychopath sees you, tries to engagement farm off you, and builds up hate campaigns, which result in real world consequences. I am not going to pretend that these things don't exist and that people should not be allowed to speak because they exist. I'm not saying that. That's a leftist argument. I'm saying if I want to block someone and reduce visibility, I need that on a platform where I post so many times per day. But if that's the direction they're going to go, then I'm going to say, 
I will reduce visibility and treat X like I do Instagram, have staff post shorts to it and stop engaging. That's that's just the reality. I don't know. I'm not owed anything by Elon or X. It's their account. I just use it. Nobody owes me anything. I could go live in the woods buck naked if it were not for society. I get it. If people want this stuff, I say, awesome. Good for you. The only thing that gets me riled up is when I, when, when I get a thousand messages from people saying, but Tim, they can just use burner accounts. I said, okay, why lock your car doors? They can just break the glass. There's no reason to block someone. I mean, they, they'll just make an alt account. There's no reason to lock your car door. They'll just use a Slim Jim. Slim Jim doesn't even damage it visibly. They just stick it in, pop the door up, and now they can, now they can take whatever they want. Why bother locking your door? In fact, locking your door, they're more likely to break the window. Indeed, many people in some cities have stopped locking their doors and leave their windows rolled down to avoid damage. Why lock your door at your house? I mean, if someone wants to break in, you think that thin little deadbolt's going to stop anybody with a hammer? What's the point? Why lock your house? In Chicago, there are people, uh, I forget what it's called, but they walk down residential streets, popping, uh, I think it's called popping cars. You, they walk up and they just grab the door handles and, and pull. And they do that until one pops open and then they go in and they take everything. Locking the door means they pull on it and keep walking. But why? They can just Slim Jim their way in. Well, because Slim Jimming takes an additional 15 or so seconds to somebody who's skilled. They got to pull out the tool. They got to run up, pop the door open. It's not as easy. And so people are less willing to do it. The idea that creating a small wall is not worth doing is an absurdity because Donald Trump didn't build a 30 foot wall on the border. He built select bollard fencing in certain areas. And the left says they can fly over it. Sure, that's harder. Well, they can slip through it. Small people can. Well, they can find a point that's not secure and get there. Right. And so that means they have to travel much, much further and it makes it more difficult. In I think it was Greece. There was a mass migration problem and they erected a three meter high chain link fence and immigration dropped nine illegal immigration dropped 90 percent. You know why? Because most people could not climb over it. They couldn't carry children over it. Old women couldn't climb over it. And so for the most part, families that were trying to illegally enter the country stopped. And I heard from people saying it's a chain link fence. They'll snap it right open. What was the point? It was a waste of time, but it worked. So. Rant over. Rant over. Is what it is, man. Do what you want to do. I don't care. But uh, I ain't mad about it. This is the, th- the way things are going. That's how I feel about it. It is what it is. I. There you go. So, uh, you know, X was fun. Uh, Elon did a lot of good things on it. I think this is one of the worst things imaginable. I don't want to be on a platform. I, I, if I could, if I had to, if, if I was able to go into detail on some of the things I've had to deal with, maybe it might be easier to understand, but let me just say 13 swattings was enough. And I can't explain much more because exposing security protocol and reasons and what's going on and who did what would only expose our security and reignite these problems. So it's fascinating that I can't do anything about it, but fine, whatever X, do whatever you want to do. I'll leave it there. We got more segments coming up. Um, I don't know. I'll probably put this one up at 630. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you all uh, TimCast IRL tonight. Follow me on X. Well, if you follow me on X, you're likely just going to get links to the YouTube videos and stuff like that. So it, it may help if you're not getting uh, recommendations and everything like that. But follow me on Instagram. And uh, we'll see you all then.